Question 15. Mr. Ali, Miss Brown and a group of students were camping at the site located at P. Mr. Ali walked with some of the students on a bearing of 35 degrees for 7 kilometres to location A. Miss Brown, with the rest of the students, walked on a bearing of 100 degrees for 9 kilometres to location B. Part A. Show that the angle APB is 65 degrees. The size of angle APB is the difference between the two bearings in the question. Mr Ali's group is walking on a bearing of 35 degrees, Miss Brown's group is walking on a bearing of 100 degrees, and the difference between the two, so 100 minus 35, is equal to 65. So therefore, angle APB is equal to 65 degrees. Part B. Find the distance AB. In triangle APB, the sides PA and PB are known, as well as the included angle, 65 degrees, which was found in part A. Because there are two known sides and an included angle, the cosine rule can be applied to find the length of the remaining side, AB. So by the cosine rule, A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC times cos A. A represents the angle here, 65 degrees. This lowercase a represents length or side AB. And B and C represent 7 and 9 kilometres, and it doesn't matter in which order. So AB squared is equal to 7 squared plus 9 squared minus 2 times 7 times 9 times cos 65 degrees. And if we raise the right hand side to the power of half, that's the equivalent of taking the square root, because we don't want AB squared, we just want AB. So it's like taking the square root of the hypotenuse. And that equals 8.76 kilometres, correct to two decimal places. Part C. Find the bearing of Miss Brown's group from Mr Ali's group. Give your answer correct to the nearest degree. In order to find the bearing of Miss Brown's group from Mr Ali's group, another angle in triangle APB needs to be determined. Now there are three known sides and a known angle already. That means there's one known side angle pair, which means the sign rule can be applied to find another angle in triangle APB. I'm going to find angle PAB using the sine rule. So sine of angle PAB over 9 is equal to sine of 65 over 8.76. So that's the known side angle pair. So multiplying both sides by 9, we have sine of angle PAB is equal to 9 sine 65 degrees divided by 8.76. And taking the inverse sine of both sides, so shift sine on the calculator, angle PAB is equal to the inverse sine of 9 sine 65 degrees divided by 8.76 and that equals 69 degrees to the nearest degree. So the bearing of B from A is equal to 360 degrees minus 145 degrees minus 69 degrees which equals 146 degrees. We'll have a quick look at the diagram just to see how those sides and angles are placed. So there's angle PAB. Now this angle here, so this 145 degrees, that comes from co-interior angles since this north-south axis and this north-south axis are parallel. So these two angles are supplementary. So you have 145 degrees, we have 69 degrees, and it's this angle here that is the bearing of Miss Brown's group from Mr Ali's group. So angles at a point add up to 360 degrees. So 360 minus 145 minus 69 degrees is equal to 146 degrees.